The Bible says, not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. This was spoken to the church at Macedonia, the church that had deep poverty, and Paul counsels them to be content. This was spoken by the apostle himself from a prison cell who had learned through experience, through trial, through suffering, through the affairs of life to be content. And this is written in the book of Philippians, a book that focuses on a Christian's joy, how you and I, as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, should be content. What if today you were simply content with your salvation, with where God has you, with his word that leads you, with his Holy Spirit that indwells you, with his promises that secure you? What if Jesus were enough for you today that all the things of life that come across your way would just lead you to say, whatever, whatever my lot, Thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. How differently would your life progress? How different would your joy be today if you had no respect of want, no expectation for anything other than the Lord Jesus, no desire for anything other than fellowship with him, no other strife but at peace, that you are his, and he is yours, and he is in control. Whether you're in a prison cell, or in a poor church, or whatever circumstance, or whatsoever state you find yourself, could you ask the Holy Spirit today to help you to be content, at peace, satisfied with God.